Hi guys, in this video we are going to learn about how to create a library management program using Python with SQL connection. Okay, so here we are going to use Python as our front end and SQL as our back end. Okay, so to connect these two different software, we are using the module import mysql.connector. So mysql.connector is a module that we are importing, which has the connect, execute, commit, and so many uh, functions in that. Okay, and I'm having a variable called mydb, and I'm assigning my um, database login credentials that is the host user id and password to the particular variable okay and whenever we are going to access the ex execute the query or access the mysql we are going to use this particular variable only okay now i'm executing a query called create database if not exist library usually what we do your normal query is create database database name but here you could see the different uh, keyword called if not exist which means if the database is already available with the name library don't create it use the same okay so that is the meaning of this if not exist keyword okay what is the purpose of this i'm writing this query i'm writing this program in my system i'm running the program if i get error i will rectify the error and i will again run the same program when you do it again for the second time it will display the message that the database already exists to avoid those kind of errors we are using this keyword if not exist okay and then we are creating the table so after creating the um, um Database, we should use the database. So this is usually we do in um, SQL also. Okay. And here we are having another query called create table if not exist book. So my database name is library and then my table name is book. Okay. And in this table, we are going to have book number, which is the primary key also book name, B author that is book author and then book price and then book quantity. So these are all the fields we are going to have in our table. So that's all we have connected, we have created the database and book. Now we are coming into the functions, okay? So first we are having insert book function. As it is a function, I'm using def keyword to define the function, insert book function. So here in the insert book a function, we are going to collect all the information, whichever is needed for our book table, okay? Like book code, book name author of the book book price book quantity all those okay and now after getting all these information we are storing everything in the variables and all those details are being inserted into our book table so insert into book values so this is our query to insert the values to your book table okay and then we are displaying the message record added successfully so by here insert function gets over next display function once you got all the um, once you inserted all the books if you wanted to display the informations like all the books you can give you can use this display book function i'm just printing select star from book okay i'm just displaying the message total book records and then the total number of books the count of total number of books and then uh, we are just getting the uh, displaying the information like book code book name author price quantity okay so these are all the um, functions i mean the source code we are going to have for display book function next we have search function search function is used to search a particular book give you in the book table by using the book number okay so we are again asking the book number from the user and then we are displaying all the informations based on the book number okay and suppose if the book is available you are displaying book records found and you are displaying all the informations whichever is available for that particular book okay if not you are printing record not found okay so that's all about search function next we have delete function so if you wanted to delete any books from the library you can select this option and then you are displaying the books whether it is available or not if they if it is available you are just getting the information and you are printing the message that uh it is so whether you wanted to I mean, you are making sure that you wanted to delete the particular book okay and when they press yes you are deleting that particular book from the book table okay and then uh, you are displaying the message record deleted successfully if not if the book is not available you are printing record not found okay the next function is update function which is used to update the details of the book which is being already stored again you are getting the book id you are displaying the uh, informations of that particular book and then 
you are making sure whether they wanted to update it and then asking to enter the new data new book name new author new book price new quantity okay and you are giving options to change everything okay and you are updating the book table by setting these values as a new value okay and then you are printing record updated successfully if the particular entered book number is not available you are printing record not found that's all all of the smaller functions are get over now you are displaying the messages you are giving six options add display search delete update and finally exit when they select one you are calling the insert book function when they select two you are calling display book function when they call three when they select three you are calling search book function when they select four you are uh, calling delete book function when they select five you are calling update book function when they select six you are just displaying the message thanks have a nice day and you are breaking the program your program will come out okay and if they select uh, if they type any number above after seven you will be printing the message wrong choice please enter the choice between one to six okay so that's all now let us run this program and see how it works so now i'm pressing one add a new book i'm just giving the book code as one double zero six enter the book name next author of the book next book price book price i'm giving 500 quantity of the book i'm giving 20 okay so it shows the message record added successfully and i'm giving the options once again so i'm gi just giving two display book record so whatever books have already stored or displaying here okay when you have uh, more books you will be get you will be getting all the list of books okay so next it, it is showing the options once again i'm giving number three okay a uh, book number to be searched i'm giving one double zero six you could see those particular detail and shows books book records found now again the options number four so this time i'm giving one double zero two so here are the de details of that particular book uh, whether you wanted to delete it i'm pressing yes why so right record deleted successfully now i'm going back to number three and i'm trying to search that particular record it shows record not found okay so yes we did it right next fifth one update book record okay book number to be updated one double zero five or six six okay so whether you wanted to update yes you wanted to update enter a new data so enter new book name i'm just giving ps other name i'm giving same name and then book price is 600 and just changing the book price and then quantity also i'm changing record updated successfully if i give to second option now you will be seeing the new details okay now i'm pressing six and get out from our program so this is how the program works hope you understand this program and if you need the soft copy of this it is available in my website you can check it out in the description of my youtube channel we'll meet you in the other video with another program Thank you. Happy learning.